there. Good morning. And I'm back. This is Sarah, your socially awkward seller coming to you with a haul video, but not just any haul video, a very special haul video because I bought this stuff while I was on vacation. So, um, last Sunday I flew to Kansas city, Missouri, and I met one of my longtime viewers, a uh, very new bestie. Um, and we just had a ball shopping in and around Kansas City, more more around Kansas, Kansas City um, for three days. And I bought some things and shipped them back. And um, there are a few casualties, um, but nothing, nothing big. And some of this stuff is for me. Some of this stuff is for resale. Um, I may or may not know the price because some of the stuff came from the, the bins in Kansas City. Um, and other things were bought at Savers. Yes, I went to Savers for the first time. Very exciting. I didn't get the t-shirt, but I did buy a Savers bag. Um, and um, I love the wall of bags. That is like my favorite thing ever. And then on Wednesday, I flew to Denver to meet one of my very long time reselling buddies and my daily kind of my daily accountability partner. Okay, we really don't hold each other that accountable, but we do share our sales uh, every day and show each other what's buying and we do video hangouts. And um, it's very good to have a, you know, a partner like that, that you can share your reselling journey with because in normal life, most people don't care. My husband does not care that I bought this cute tchotchke and I'm going to sell it for millions of dollars. Could, couldn't care less. So, yeah, if you don't have somebody in your life like that, find somebody in your life like that. They are out there. Um, excuse me. I met both of my friends through um, so social media. Marcy from my YouTube channel uh, and Linda from from her YouTube channel. So, um, yeah. Anyway, let's jump into this. I bought this stuff and shipped it via FedEx. So there was some additional, you know, expense. I don't care. I was on vacation and I didn't we, like, it's not like we went to museums and um, amusement parks and all this stuff and spent a lot of money. Nope. I just spent it, on, spent it on reselling. So I don't care. Um, let's just pull this little box over here and get started. Uh, I think I got this at the bins. This is a cute little needle point, uh, a vintage one. Uh, the package is open. It is complete though. So, um, I'm sure I will sell that for probably in the neighborhood of 10 bucks. Uh, I bought this stuff because it was at the bins and it wasn't going to cost really anything. Um, this is a kind of a flower sack muslin, it feels like, um, apron pattern. So it's already cut out. All you would have to do really is just show, sew the, the neck bands, the edge and the tie backs on it. So I got this, uh, looks like a vintage cross stitch, but it's not finished. And it is the serenity prayer. And, I, you know, these won't bring me a whole lot, but they'll bring me something. Y'all relax. I did find a couple of pieces of ephemera. I will not go through it all, but I just thought this this card was cute. And I did get this at the bins. Um, so, I mean, literally pennies for this. The card will probably sell in the neighborhood of five bucks or something like that. I know, not exciting. Those those ones aren't exciting, but I did get some, I got some stuff. Uh, anyway, I found this, um, the sign for the 510th, 510th Tactical Fighter Squadron. And it is signed by the members thereof. Um, I don't know if that's worth anything, but I thought I would get that too. Um, this is a Santa, you know him, Santa, um, I don't know if he's like, be quiet cause I'm creepy Santa in your house or if he's getting ready to lay a finger aside of his nose. I'm not sure. 
or maybe he's hailing a taxi. Could be any of those. Um, but really nice plastic canvas Santa. Again, won't bring much, but um, it'll make me happy. And that's what I'm here for, to make me happy. So I bought these at the bins. These are quilt blocks and they're cross stitch quilt blocks. There are 12 of them. And aren't these the most adorable thing ever? There's elephant, there's two of each, I think. Zebra except for the rest of the world that speaks English, calls it a zebra, rhymes with Debra. Uh, anyway, here's a camel, which in Arabic is jamal. I'm not lying to you. I wouldn't lie to you. Um, a lion, a giraffe, and finally, a hippo. Cute. Um, there's one in progress. And then the rest of these are not done. Um, I don't know. It's vintage. I'm going to, you know, throw it at the wall and see if it sticks. I don't know. Um, I found this bag of Oster parts. I think actually Marcy found this bag of Oster parts and gave it to me. Um, it's got this French fry cutter in it. And it's got some other like slicing discs in it. I got that at the bins. Oh, this is the the actual instructions for the, the nursery quilt. Handy. Got some um, border. Not worth a fortune. Uh, here's the Serenity Prayer packaging, which is nice to have that. Um, I think I got this at Savers maybe for 99 cents or $1.99 or 99 is what I paid for the ornaments that I got. This guy's really cute. Um, okay, so I found this doll, and I've been wanting this doll, not this doll, but a doll, to do a creepy Halloween project, because I want to cut off the doll's head and poke its eyes out, and then, like, darken the face, you know, zombify the face, and then put a light in it and put it on a candlestick. You know, kind of like a, kind of like a disgusting medieval doll head on a pike more like a candle but anyway um so i found this doll i don't know about you but this looks like baby michael myers i'm just saying um it's got the worst hair ever this is actually a reborn doll i believe not this one was not worth much uh but it was creepy so i pulled its head off that's what you do when you're at the bins um so i'll be doing that with my project um, and the reseller in me said, I can't let this go to waste. Uh, I just ripped this doll's head off. So I took her dress, which looks original. It's very well done. And I will sell this. I'll list that for like 10 bucks or something. I found an unfinished needle point. I know this is not, I, I shouldn't be buying these things, but I do. And I found um, the thread and stuff that goes with that too. Uh, I got this bag of ephemera and this cute little bag from, I think this is from 89 or 91. Uh, it's from Ambassador Cards. It's full of just postcards and letters and pictures and that kind of thing. Um, not worth a whole lot. There is an invitation to a, like a, a reception, a dinner reception, a political thing for Ted Kennedy in there. That might be worth a little bit. Who knows? I don't. Um, this is... Got this at Savers. Didn't have a price on it. They were nice enough to just price it on the fly for me. Um, which, I know that there are a lot of thrift stores that won't do that. Um, like our... What are they called? Our... Valley thrifts don't really like to do that, but this is an accessory box for an Oster food processor. It's got quite a few pieces in there. I got this for $4.99 and um, they gave me a discount too. Um, I may or may not be over 55, you know, but uh, what mama don't know won't hurt you. Okay, uh, I picked this up for $7.99. This is a P90X. 
there was actually a moment between the time I bought this and I got home that I thought I would do this and then I'm like, oh my God, no. That is not happening. Um, this has got, I don't know why, four of the same disc in it, which these don't sell for a lot, about six bucks a piece. Um, then it's got the whole 12 disc, the booklets and the diet book that goes with it, probably not worth anything. It's got the, like the workout calendar, but that got wet or something. And so it's stuck together. And then finally it's got the workout bands with it. Um, but yeah, I, I was wondering for that brief second, why I would punish myself that way. I mean, I'm going to commit to doing something to improve my health. This ain't it. So, um, yeah, no. Let's see. I picked up a Smith & Wesson M&P um, hat. Uh, finely tuned machines, I know, because I own one. Um, and then this hostage situation I've got going on right here, uh, I swear when I first did the rubber band, it was like over, over the kid's face like that. And it really did look like a hostage situation. These are for official price, Fisher price loving family, not worth a whole bunch, but they, they came with a lot of other stuff that I bought and I was a good girl and even listed some of this stuff while I was in Kansas. Um, so I got this, um, statue, uh, the infant of Prague. Um, this is from Goebel and the angel lost its head. So basically this is now worth nothing, um, because nobody wants to buy a $10 tchotchke that is broken. So I'll be tossing that unfortunate. There were a couple of, tra of uh, casualties, but I could have shipped this better. Um, here's this cool West Clocks, but that's kind of concerning. Does, doesn't that concern you? So it might just be a decorative tchotchke. Let's see, I've got some more here. Let's see what else I've got. Uh, I found this brand new Peppa Pig for just a couple of bucks. Um, my grandkids love Peppa Pig. This sells for about $25, I think. And I think I just paid like three for it. Um, this I got at Savers. A cute little ashtray, soap dish, trinket dish, change bowl, whatever you want to do with it. Um, but it's Colt 44. And I picked these up. This one's still got the price on it. Um, these are Pier one, Pier 1 or Pier Own, as Holly says. And they are the handleless, like teacups or sake cups. And I paid three bucks for those. Um, I found this, I think it had just been put out on the shelf. Um, a Wii remote with the guards. Guards! Seize him, guards. Not those kind of guards, different guards. Um, cords, nunchucks. I I'm gonna put all this over here because I need to test it. And I'm hoping that somebody has left a game in it because I don't have a Wii game right now. Uh, another Wii. So I paid six bucks for this. And it's, that's really a steal. I mean, they don't go for as much as they used to. I don't go for as much as I used to either. Um, here's the sensor. But um, the, like the Nintendo Wii brand re remotes or, you know, controllers um, do pretty well. Um, I love this. Uh, Rugrats 1991. This is a pencil pencil box. See, I'm sure that it's a pencil box. I'm 
absolutely, utterly sure that it's a pencil box. For once, I'm sure about something. Um, so I packed these like this. And these, <laughs> these I bought for a couple of dollars. And they are these little like salt dough, uh, I think is what you call it, ornaments. And they're handmade. And they're cute. There's a whole bunch of creepy clowns in it that I will be selling in one big creepy clown lot. Um, here's a Santa. Let's see. I broke his foot off, but I think he'll be okay. Uh, this used to be a bear riding a unicorn. It had an entire body, but this one broke to hell. Um, it was really well done, too. But, oh well. Um, here's another creepy clown. Um, this little guy is broken. Oh, I broke a bunch of them. There's a rooster. Now it's broken. Uh, another creepy clown. So, I'm going to end up with a creepy clown lot. And this one's lost its head. Here's a little Christmas bell. Another Santa. I know I'm going through these fast, but... Um, a Sleepy Hollow Snowman. Think about it. Um, a little little um, stocking. This is from, she, it's got 1988 written on the back, so. And I paid uh, about $4 for these. Um, a random, uh, like, velvet, not velvet, velour strawberry, purple, throw that away. And then, <laughs> a bag full of miscellaneous broken pieces. Uh, so, let's throw that away. And then, um, so I didn't, I bought them for the dough, the salt dough ornaments because I thought they were cute and interesting and I like to open that sort of thing and go through it. But since I've destroyed most of those, we'll talk about these. Um, these are Bieloski. Um, I've never heard of it before, but it is a thing. Uh, these are made in Japan. One is dated 1984, one is dated 1985, and they're these cute little ceramic um, bears and they are ornaments. So I love this one. So cute, but that's cute with the little baby blocks too. I think those will go from seven to ten dollars each. Um, so nothing exciting there. Here, let's watch my haul of nothing exciting. Yeah. Let's see what's in here. Maybe it could be broken stuff. Um, Oh, an uh, audio cassette to throw into my electronics lot. This also came with the late, hey lady, the the lady and baby hostage. And that'll sell for a few bucks. Come on, wake up from here. Um, this is a vintage, made in Taiwan, cobalt, like, perfume bottle. Um, paid $1.99 for that at Goodwill. smells like glass. Um, but it's really pretty. I haven't looked that up, but who knows? Um, I have a, <clears throat> I have a, a lot back there that I've started of little tiny cross stitch. This one was 99 cents, but I think I ended up paying like 65 cents or something for it. Um, and I'll just throw that in that lot. Uh, it's getting probably big enough for me to list. Um, I couldn't stop myself. I tried. I tried. I swear. Couldn't do it. Um, about these Yo Gabba Gabba uh, walkie talkies. Not worth a bunch. But I figured if they, you know, aren't for resale. Grandkids, they love this stuff. Makes me look good. You know, I'm the Nana that always brings something. If I can't spoil those children, who can? 
Okay, this is a bag of stuff that I bought, and it was with the Infant of Prague statue. Um, but these are, let's see if I can read it, handcrafted in Japan for the Little Gallery 1981 Hallmark cards. This is three part, three pieces of a nativity. Um, so we've got a lyre player, I guess you call it, a flute, or is that a lute? A flute and a lute. I don't know. Um, we got a couple of musician angels because they got wings. And then, look at this. Maybe these aren't nativity, but dang, they're cute. Maybe they're they're like an uh, accompaniment, uh, <clears throat> like an accessory pack or something. Okay, um, I bought this for myself because I love it. Uh, it's a little, um, like, steel basket. It almost looks like it's made from, like, nails. It's not, but, yeah. But that's for me. Uh, I don't know if I can resell this or not. This is a Victoria's Secret Breathless Captivating Shimmer Body Powder. And it's this brush. So I don't know if this is used or not, so I gotta check that. But that was $1.49. Um, I didn't want to buy things that were extremely big. There's one more. P oh, there, there are all three here. So uh, there was a dollhouse at the bins. And um, I stole the doors off the little kitchen. I don't know if they'll be worth anything. But, I mean, I, I do okay with dollhouse parts. Um, and then... So I would know what this was. I just wrote it down. Um, so I would know the model because I don't remember nothing. Um, I got this little brass coat hook. Really cute. Uh, these are really cool. They're like metal um, drapery tiebacks. Again, not worth a bunch. Pick this up. This is either... Home Co. This is Home Co. Um, little basket. I don't know who buys that stuff, but somebody does. This may be for me. This is a Avalanche Rescue Team. Avalanche Unit. Uh, Colorado. It's from Vail. But I like it. Um, this is a, has another casualty. I paid $3 for this after the discount. And it's these little Home Co. Bears. I don't even know how many are in here because I didn't open it. Look, there's the conductor. Um, drummer. So that's the Ringo. Uh, bassist. Um, and he's got a little chip on him. Have a chip. And uh, my tuba player suffers from a split personality. Um, yeah, not worth much. Uh, worth a lot less now that I broke them. But anyway, maybe somebody will want them. Maybe nobody will want them. I'll redonate them. Who knows? Who cares? Yeah, here's my lot of stuff. That is garbage. Okay, but there were some good things. So, I spotted in this basket, this cart, this trolley, whatever you want to call it, because um, they roll them out at this Salvation Army, and they um, just let you go through them. And they, like, put on a bunch. Like, the, there were probably 10 that they rolled out and they were just piled full of stuff. Um, I spotted this like statue of a lion kind of thing, really heavy, really well made. There were two of them. One of them was just chipped and stuff. I didn't buy that, but I bought one of them. Um, I paid, I think I paid $6 for it. Uh, and it ended up being a art Institute of Chicago or something like that. Museum, Art Museum of Chicago, something like that. Um, and it, it's supposed to be a depiction, I think, of one of the lions out front. 
Um, I've got it listed for $120, and that is currently still with Marcy because it was so heavy I didn't want to ship it back. She'll just ship it for me, and if there is an overage, I'll just eat those shipping costs. But yeah, so I mean, it was those kind of buys that made shipping on the junk worthwhile. Um, I picked up this Glinda um, ornament. I picked up, this one is worth about $25. Um, this is a Viewmaster, which is like one of my favorite toys. Um, and it's got, it's two ornaments. It's got these reels in an envelope and it's got the Viewmaster and the Viewmaster works and you can put the reels in it. It's really cool. So that one's worth about $25. And then I bought these koi fish and I've already sealed them, but I sealed them for travel. So I'll open these and show them to you because they're really cool. And I've got these listed currently for I think $39. And I just picked that price because I saw one that sold for that. Uh, but I, I didn't pay that much for these. Maybe maybe five bucks or something. They're brand new. Look at these guys. Aren't they cute little ceramic? So there's two of that one. Uh, there are two of this little guy. So cute. And two of this red one. I just love these. Let me put this back in here before I break it. If you've watched me before, even just a couple of minutes ago, you know I break stuff. So, um, oh, there's the one. But anyway, um, these were a nice little find and I'm excited by these. I know. Noisy, right? So there's those. Uh, got this cool, I think it's a 49 Cadillac Coupe de Ville ornament. Um, this is in really good condition. I got that listed, but I don't know for how much. Um, and then more wee parts. Um, and then I got two of these and they are not new, but they're like almost new, like maybe put up once. And let me just put a picture of it right here. Um, these are Avon, a Christmas Carol windmills. They light up, they turn, they play music. Uh, I paid, these were marked $6.99, but they were half off. So I paid $6.99 for the pair of them that I got. I think I've got them listed for $49 each. Um, and I'm hoping that I will get that for them, considering the condition. Because everything's in there. Um, it, honestly, the original like plastic sleeve is in there, but it was folded up. So I know somebody used it. Um, all of the original packing is there, the instructions, everything. So I'm pretty excited about those. And I went ahead and listed those while I was in Kansas. Um, oh, last thing is I found this in the bins and it's a Thomas Kincaid um, cross stitch pattern. I just shipped one of these today for like 10 or, 10 or $12 or something. But again, in the bins. So anyway. That's the stuff that I bought in um, Kansas City. It was a wonderful trip. It was wonderful weather. I got some Kansas City barbecue, which was worth the flight, I, I must say. And um, Marcy was just so hospitable. Um, I really enjoyed my, my time. Um, you know, she drove an hour to pick me up from the airport and hour to take me back to the airport and just was wonderful, wonderful hostess. So thank you so much for that, Marcy. Um, as we speak, FedEx is bringing boxes that I shipped Saturday um, from Denver, Colorado, because that's where I went after I left Kansas City. 
So once I get those items, I will do another video uh, and talk about my time there in Denver, um, which was the farthest west I've ever been. And um, just a, a good time there too. I had a wonderful time there too. Um, we had some estate sales. We tried to hit some antique shops and I'll talk about that later. Uh, but anyway, that'll be in another video. One thing I did want to talk about just briefly before I let you go or before you let me go, whatever you want to do, is I did have a major glitch with eBay while I was on vacation. So before I left, either Friday night or Saturday morning, I think I did it Friday night, I bulk edited all of my listings in both stores to make my handling time 10 days because I wanted to leave my um, listings visible but I wanted to let people know that they wouldn't get their stuff. You know, I didn't want to have to ship it while it was gone. I also put an out of office message for my email and I also uh, set my vacation, you know, banner so that that would pop up on my listings. I did that for both stores. Um, for my larger store, I have about 700 and I had about 750 items when I left. Um, 10 items that sold in the first couple of days still had one day handling time. And I contacted eBay as soon as I realized it. And they gave me this BS about, you know, we'll fix it. And, um, you know, I'll have them dig and see what happened. And I will contact your customers and uh, I'll call, you know, somebody will call you back. I don't think any of those things happened. Um, I had to call them the next day because there were more items that sold that had, you know, one day handling time. I had already gone in and bulk edited them again a second time to have 10 day handling time and still items sold that had one day handling time. Um, I contacted eBay again. This time I think I got the call center in the Philippines. They called me back. For, and I think, um, and basically, uh, I was just told, um, while waiting for them to call back, cause it was like hours, I contacted eBay for business and, um, basically the consensus was pound sand. There's nothing we can do about it except take care of your defects when they, when you get those. And, um, I just don't think that's acceptable. Um, of course, they didn't say pound sand, but you know what? I heard that. That's what I heard. Uh, is basically we can't do anything. Um, it looks like you didn't change your handling time, even though by then I had changed it three times. Um, and, you know, we'll just take off your defects. But taking off my defects or any bad feedback will not give that buyer a better experience, you know, a good experience. I did email um, some of those buyers and let them know that there was an issue and, and all of the responses I got back, it was fine. So, um, but I'm very frustrated by this. And um, I know that eBay was focused on celebration. What a success, yay, there were 1,700 people watching it, great. Um, but anyway, I just don't think that that is acceptable. Fix your glitches. You're a billion dollar company. Fix your glitches. Okay. I'm done with my rant. It's over now. I'm back. I'm working. And um, yeah, I will show you the stuff that I bought in the next video. So. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. As always, there is uh, someone who is having some health issues out there. Just want to let you know that I'm thinking about you. Um, and just remember that the dream works when you do. So keep dreaming. Keep working. I'll see you guys the next time. Bye.